problem 21 in the Smith's textbook uh, here asks us to draw this curved air reaction mechanism. Remember that uh, carboxylic acids are going to react with alcohols in the presence of an acid catalysis to produce um, esters. A cyclic ester is actually called a lactone, in case you're interested in knowing what type of interesting functional group that is. So uh, let's go ahead and do the uh, curved arrow reaction mechanism. Now, what we want to do is protonate the carbonyl oxygen. Now, since we're under acid catalysis, we want to make sure that all of our oxygen atoms have a neutral charge or a plus one formal charge. We do not want to have any O, a o negatives all right, in this uh, situation. So at this stage, what we want to do now is attack. Right, so our alcohol normally is an external molecule, but here it's going to attack the carbonyl carbon, giving us that uh, cyclic structure, okay? So I'll, I'll kind of draw it as a... Uh, ring so it looks nice okay so um, uh, it's kind of crowded in here I'll drop coming out this way okay so let me just number this in case you're a little bit confused how I got that so uh, here's the carbonyl carbon okay and that's being attacked by the sixth atom over. So I've got five carbons, and here's my uh, sixth, you know, atom. And the two methyl groups are on uh, carbon two, so I want to keep those in, in the structure there, okay? So when the oxygen at six attacks, it becomes a plus one formal charge, as you can see here. Now, presumably, this is in water. There's water being formed. Maybe there's water in the sulfuric acid. So I'm going to use water to do the general acid base deprotonating and protonating. So here we'll go. Um, deprotonate that oxygen. So the whole point of doing all of these many different protonation and deprotonations is to avoid generating an O minus, okay? Now what I need to do is uh, protonate one of these oxygens, either one. You could write H plus or H2SO4, you know, there's a lot of variety there. So that's a protonation step, okay? And now we've set up a situation where we could have uh, neutral water be the leaving group. So my oxygen atom here, always use your lone pairs, can uh, displace water. So I'll just write minus H2O below the arrow to indicate that the water has been drawn or released. And I'm almost there. I have my uh, lactone, but it's protonated on the oxygen of the carbonyl. So now I want to uh, deprotonate that guy there. And once again, I'll use water. I don't have hydroxide present because this is sulfuric acid we're dealing with. So you need to use something neutral to deprotonate. And I forgot to label these steps. This is the deprotonation step. And this gives you your final lactone product. So we have uh, several steps. We have protonation, we have attack, we have deprotonation, we have protonation, elimination, and then deprotonation. 
or PADPED, okay? Whenever you have a carboxylic acid reacting with an alcohol, it proceeds through the PADPED mechanism, okay? Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please consider subscribing to this video.